Interphase Video Productions is proud to present the High School Basketball Game of the Week. Brought to you by Tiberio's Ristorante. Community Action and Litter Prevention. Wentz Fletcher Insurance. OhioHills.com. Heston's Auto Service and Used Cars. Don's Furniture. Arthur Treacher's Fish and Chips. And Tiki Bowling Lane. Welcome to Lancaster High School, where tonight the Golden Gales take on the Lions of Gahanna Lincoln High School. I'm Andy Rice along with Paul Jackson. And Paul, we've got a great OCC Ohio Division matchup. The Gales first in the division at 6 and 1, 12 and 1 overall. Even though the Lions are 5 and 7, they're 4 and 4 in the division and are a strong third place right now. Well, this is a rematch of a game that was Lancaster down much of the game, uh, came back to win by one point. This rematch should be just a terrific game. And as you indicated, it's an OCC conference battle. Anything could happen tonight. Well, we're going to find out exactly was what does happen when we come back. We'll take a look at the starting lineups and we'll have tonight's opening tip off. But first, we're going to take this time out. Try something different and get out of the hamburger fast food rut with a trip to Arthur Treacher's Fish and Chips. Dad with the hearty appetite can enjoy the original batter dipped fish and chips while mom has the low-cal broiled fish dinner and the little ones order from the kids menu. Remember, Arthur Treacher's food not only tastes good, but is good for you because they use only 100% cholesterol-free peanut oil. New owners, but the same great food at Arthur Treacher's, serving Lancaster for over 30 years. Hi, I'm Fairfield County Commissioner Judy Shoup, here with students from Liberty Union Middle School, reminding you to always dispose of your waste tires in a legal and environmentally safe method. Tires which are stockpiled hold stagnant waters that provide an ideal habitat for mosquitoes that could spread disease. That's why my friends and I took a summer and helped to rid the county of this illegal tire dump. These kids have made the right choice, won't you? With your help, we can stop illegal dumping in Fairfield County and keep our county beautiful. Only at Don Furniture in Lancaster can you get great buys like this traditional living room group with sofa, love seat, three tables and two lamps, plus the pillows for just $7.99. Or this full-size futon with mattress for only $158. Or this multicolor heavy duty bunk bed, perfect for a growing family at $188. All this and more at Don's Furniture and Mattress Showroom, 1118 East Main Street in Lancaster. Or visit them on the web at www.donsfurniture.com. If you want reliable high speed internet services, call OhioHills.com. OhioHills.com is a regional company that is big on customer service. So when you call, you'll talk to a person, not a recording. Hi, I'm Laura Hopstetter, owner of OhioHills.com. And you have my personal guarantee that we'll do everything we can to earn and keep your business. Providing high-speed digital internet services with local access for Central and Southeast Ohio. Call OhioHills.com or visit our website at www.OhioHills.com. Welcome back to Lancaster High School. Andy Rice and Paul Jassen with tonight's game between the Lancaster Golden Gales and the Gahanna Lincoln Lions. First, we're going to take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Lions. And, uh, Paul, you, you take a look at this team and you say, my, they are just absolutely big on the inside. Robert Summers, number 32, the starting postman, 6'10", coming into this ball game. And uh, I tell you what, though, but watching him in warm-ups, he was shooting the ball out in the three-point land area. So it's kind of hard to determine whether or not he's a strong presence to the inside or not. Buck Bomber, number 42, is another starter. If, you, if you're going to name a kid anything, you name him Buck Bomber. He's a 6'7", 205-pound junior. Mark Green's a 6'1", 170-pound junior. He's the other outside. And Kyle Tackett, number 24, is uh, one of the guards. And number four, Robbie Keyes, is the other guard for Gahanna Lincoln. For the Golden Gales, they'll be uh, running out 
Their usual starting five, led by Captain Brad Beatty, number 14. He's the uh, quarterback on the floor for the Golden Gales. Josh Laver and Kyle Greathouse round out the three guard position Gales. Chad McKnight plays the post number 50. He'll have his hands full tonight. And Andrew Tott, number 42, is the offside forward. And that's the starting five for the Golden Gales, coached by Jack Greathouse. And Paul, I know before the game, you had a chance to talk with Jack. And I think if, if there was any type of coach that could uh, bring anything into context, it's always Jack. And he always has something good to say about his opponents. Well, he's got plenty of good things to say about Gahanna. Jack was visibly nervous about tonight's game. Not that as a coach, you're not always nervous because when you throw up the ball, anything could happen. But Robbie Keyes is the, uh, He's the engine that makes this Gahanna Lincoln team go. His motor never stops. He's a tremendous athlete. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. I think they'll probably start with Josh Laver. Matt Alvis will come in and guard him. Depending on how good a start he comes out on, uh, we may even see some zone tonight. But I think as Robbie Keyes goes, so goes Gahanna Lincoln. And they're going to have to do a good job at defending him and, and doing good double teams and really handling the ball well. Well, I would uh, say that this Gahanna Lincoln team is much like uh, the Newark team that we saw earlier. And the fact that when they're on, they are really on. And when they're not, they have a ch uh, they do have a tendency to let that wheel fall completely off. So it'll be interesting to see how everything goes tonight. Well, before we even do it, we're going to remind everyone that tonight's opening tip off is brought to you by the Notestone CPA firm. Visit them on the web at notestonecpa.com. That's all one word right there. Whether you're an individual or small business, contact the Notestone CPA firm for all your tax needs. And of course, uh, as always, Damon Notestone. I, believe, I saw him in the stands. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that he ha where he sits in the stands, he, you have to have uh, season tickets for like 35 years to get those seats. <laughs> Ever since he was just a baby. <laughs> Ever since he was just a pup. Well, they're just now uh, getting the uh, lineups announced. And I tell you, I had to. Uh, check myself when we got here because I got here what usually is about 15 minutes before the start of the reserve game so I could run some cables and there was nobody here. I mean, there was just a couple of players and thank goodness Kyle Greathouse opened the door for me so I knew that they were playing here tonight but the uh, reserve game didn't start till 6.30. I don't know if it was because of the uh, the weather on the way down. Gahanna was just taking a little more uh, careful or, or what, but... Uh, it was the weather related. Gahanna was slow getting here. The officials were slow getting here, so that put everything a bit behind. So we're running a little bit behind uh, to start the varsity game tonight. Well, Matt Alvis is uh, actually starting tonight. We uh, had indications before the ball game that it might be Andrew Totten, but it is now Matt Alvis out there as in the starting spot along with Chad McKnight. Well, I think Matt Alvis is going to be in there for his defensive capabilities. Not that he can't score, but he's going to be in there with really one thing in mind. I think he'll be matched up with Robbie Keyes, and it'll be his job to hold that kid down. Golden Gales wearing their whites. Gahanna Lincoln in their royal blues, we'll call them. What's so funny is that when you listen to both sets of cheerleaders, they're both yelling, let's go LHS and let's go blue and gold because technically Gahanna's high school is Lincoln High School. So they are LHS. It looks odd to see somebody out there so much taller than Chad. Summers at 6'10 against McKnight, 6'7. And Chad McKnight wins that tip easily. Quickness on a jump. Kyle Greathouse runs the point for the Gales to start off. Laver, McKnight, they dish it down to Alvis, and he gets the ball knocked away, and it'll stay with the Gales underneath. Right away, they're looking to post Alvis up underneath and come up with a quick bucket. And unless I'm mistaken, he's being guarded by the big man, Summers not McKnight being guarded by him. It's well, an interesting matchup, to, at least to start the game. Gahanna may be doing the same thing that the Gales do and have a designated defensive player, and they're putting that man on McKnight. And maybe out, maybe uh, Jack knew this, and that's the reason why he's got Alvis out there going against Summers. Beatty. Crossover pass, Laver tries to go baseline, puts it off the glass, no good, and a rebound to Summers. 
Mark Green pushes the ball up the floor for the Lions. Keys, that's the man to watch. Now into Summers, the turnaround way off the mark. No good, the ball on the floor, picked up by Josh Laver. To Great House, they've got a three on two. Kyle stops, pushing out the Laver. Beatty, down the underneath, McKnight. McKnight gets the ball blocked by Summers. Kyle Greathouse picks it up, and now the Gales will set it back up. And now McKnight is being guarded by Green. So now they've switched it up. I think we'll get lots of different looks here, trying to find out what match works for each team and then try to keep it fresh all the time. McKnight way away from the hoop to get this. Laver to the paint. Laver's shot is good, and it took a couple of minutes, but we've got a couple of points on the scoreboard. The Gales lead it two to nothing. Great job of penetration there by the young man. Just things broke down in the lane. It opened up, and he took advantage of it. Tack it. Whoops it around to the outside. Here's Summers from three. It's no good. Doesn't follow that as Matt Alvis goes for the rebound, and Buck Bomber. What a name, that is, that's an all-time classic name right there. Bomber picks up his first. I guess he came in in the Gahanna game there, and uh, he just hit threes, rain. Here's a look. That's, uh, he's got that yellow on yellow going there with the tie and the shirt. Oh! There we go. Let me say it before it gets away. That all motions to someone over in the stands that he mentioned the word hanging Chad. Hackett guarded closely by Greathouse. Keys with the ball to Summers out on the pole. Point. Green cross courts it to Green. And now they go down underneath. Oh! Tackett shot is by Chad McKnight. The ball on the ground is picked up by McKnight. To Beatty. Beatty on the run. Left handed shot. It's good. And quickly, Gahanna wants a timeout. It's just a 20 second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. So after a couple of minutes of no scoring at all, the Gales have blown out with six straight points and lead it six to nothing with 5-0-1 left to play in the first quarter. And I think Rick Lewis senses that he's got to get control of this game right now. If, if he doesn't make sure his team remains calm and poised and do what they're capable of doing, it could be 10, 12, 14 to nothing before he knows it, and then it's really an uphill struggle. Well, and no this doubt. is just the exact kind of start that Jack wanted for this team. You don't want to come out slow and give these guys a chance to get in the game. People still buzzing in the stands after McKnight's dunk. That was impressive. Tackett brings it up left-handed. He drives. Tackett pushed it off of his leg. They dish it out now to Green. His shot no good, and Alvis high for the rebound. It's a second rebound as Kyle Greathouse brings it up. Laver goes baseline into the land of the trees in trouble, gets it out to Matt Alvis. Now the Gales set it up. Laver down in the corner. Alvis tries to feed it down into McKnight and that ball batted away, an ill-advised pass. Tackett goes and Tackett is fouled by Greathouse. Well, Jack can't believe it. Imagine that. That's the first foul for the Gales. We'll have a couple of substitutions coming in for Gahanna. With all the betting going on with the Super Bowl this week, when we should have had a pool when Jack would complain about the first call. <laughs> and there it was, ladies there and gentlemen. 4.18 to go in the first quarter. You know, they might have that out in Vegas somewhere. You think there may oh, be? Oh, they got bets on I everything. hear there's a game this weekend. <laughs> there might be. Six to one is the score. Tackett makes the first and the second, and it's a six to two ball game. Gales lead it. Laver back to Great House, and now the Gales as Beatty penetrates off the glass. That's good. Another great job of penetration by the Gales, Bradley. Beatty has four, and it's an 8-2 to two game in favor of the Gales. Defense, 
attack it, cross courts it again. Wide open for the shot, Keys, and he hits it. It's a three pointer, and it's an eight to five game. Just as you mentioned, Paul, the Gales got to worry about him getting that open shot. Here's Alvis down, and nope, they're going to call traveling. Great look, though, by Matt Alvis to find Chad underneath. Chad was going to get himself set. He looked like he might want to go back up, jam that one down, but did take a little bit of a stutter step. I think that's when there's somebody bigger than you out there, it makes you just for that split second thinking, well, what do I do here? And that cost him. Tack it. That looked like a travel. They don't call it. The banks aren't open tonight as Morrison is into the ball game. His shot's off the mark. Down to three minutes to play in the first quarter. Eight to five. Gales lead by three. A mugging going on out there. That's the second foul for Buck Bomber. Blessed and McKnight out there. <laughs> Checking back in is uh, Robert Summers. And Bomber sits down. There you see a bit of the student section. Kyle Greathouse right in front of us. Beatty and McKnight, and there it is again. And like that, it's 10 to 5. Wow. I think Chad's a little pumped up tonight. You know, up there at Gahanna, they have, for Robbie Keys, they have what they call the dunk -a meter And they keep it going for all the dunks he has this year. He has a 41-inch vertical leap. Wow. Here's the shot outside and a three-pointer That's for, a good uh, answer. Tristan Weaver. That's a good answer. And if it weren't for their two three-pointers, the Gales would uh, have command, but it's a, only a 10-8 to eight ball game. Under two minutes to play first quarter. Alvis loses the ball on the floor, and then he's called for traveling, is Weaver. And another substitution as checking in now is Brent Week Weekly, sorry. As mentioning about Robbie Keyes, he's had somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 to 20 dunks this year. He's six foot one and has a 41 inch vertical leap. That's up there. Beatty, how about that? Another nice job, Beatty. Two penetrations tonight, two buckets. That's fearless when you're Beatty sized to just move in there with those big tall trees. Summers. Notice quite a lot he plays down underneath. Not quite the vertical leap there, but Tackett gets it done, and he's got four points, and it's a 12-10 ball game in favor of the Gales. And Kyle kind of went for the ball there, and then he got behind him, and it was an easy bucket. Laver. Laver goes. Nice move, and it rolls in. Four points for Josh Laver. Gales getting a lot of points in the paint tonight. A lot of things happening low for having a guy that's 6'10". McKnight's doing a good job of keeping him out of there. Here's the shot, no good, and wow. McKnight way up high for that rebound. 50 Three seconds to play in the first quarter. Laver to the elbow, it's good. The Gales are on fire tonight. They are on fire. 16-10, Gales by six with 35 seconds to play in the first. You said Jack had something up his sleeve for about every game. It must have been that hot shooting tonight. Brings it back all the way out to the circle. And now they'll set it up. Cross court, now a drive to the paint. The shot is no good off the mark. The ball's going to go all the way down the floor, and it's picked up with four seconds. Tackett crosses the line. One second takes the shot. It's in. We'll be back right after this. You can buy your insurance from an 800 number, but do you know that person? And will they be there when you need them? At Wentz Fletcher, a motorist insurance agency, you know who you are dealing with. You see them in the community, and when you call, you deal with a person, not a machine. 
Motorist Insurance. You've known us for nearly 30 years. Call us at 653-5535 with your insurance questions. We can help. Wentz Fletcher Insurance, 1601 East Main Street, Lancaster. Ti ho portato nel locale della mia sorella. Sì. Ci si mangia bene. Sì, sì. E dove si spende poco. Sì. È vero Luciana? Sì. You don't have to travel overseas for real Italian cooking. Tiberio's Ristorante in downtown Lancaster. Back at Lancaster High School, Andy Rice, Paul Jasson, and the IVP Sports Crew as the Gales lead it after one 16 to 10. Before we get started here, I just want to make it real clear so I don't want to get charged with any plagiarism. My hanging Chad comment was prompted by Gary Lockwood. He pushed <laughs> me to do that ever since the, uh, the Newark game. It's not quite as relevant now. Well, into the ball game, Colin Davis, and right now the smallest man on the floor gets the shot up and good, and... You know, they've got Colin listed at 5'5", five, five, and that may be stretching. Instant spark plug, go. Kyle Greathouse with the turnover, and that's three for the Gales. Keys guarded by Beatty. Keys backing way up. Now he gets it to Davis. Boy, he's, he's on Kyle. Jack wants Kyle to do something right there. Keyes tries to go baseline, puts up the shot no good, and McKnight with the rebound for the Gales. That's his fourth ball. Beatty to the paint, loses control, and then we're going to get a foul call. That foul's going to go against uh, Brent Wakeley. That's his first. Kyle Greathouse out, and Andy Boner comes in. We see Jack talking to his son Kyle along with the rest of the coaching staff as Labor gets the shot up and it's good from three. Theme in his eye. What's that, seven tonight? That's nine. Nine already. Wow. Here's the three point attempt. No good. And that ball ricocheted off before McKnight able to grab it. That's his fifth rebound. Beatty, paint. Beatty gets the ball blocked and the ball goes. Off of Stuart Perlow and out of bounds. Stuart into the ball game. Okay, it's a tremendous crowd here for Lancaster. I mean, it's a full house, and that's not unexpected. But the weather is not all that good tonight. It's not terrible, but it, we've had some snow down here. But I uh, believe me, they've turned out, and, and really a pretty nice crowd down here from Gahanna, too, where they've had perhaps a bit worse weather than we've had. Well, quickly, Matt Alvis checks in and gives a blow to Chad McKnight. 19-12. Davis walks with the basketball. Second turnover for Gehanna. Andy Boner with the basketball. Brad Beatty, Matt Alvis, Stuart Perlow, and Josh Lever. That's the five on the floor for the Gales. And it stays with the Gales with the ball knocked out of bounds. Green checks back in for Gehanna as Coach Lewis with a rotating bench. They're going to go back door right there, but uh, didn't work. Beatty goes baseline, gets hammered. It looks like that's the game plan. The Gales are willing to take their chances, drive inside, and then get the lay-in, or perhaps get a foul and, and maybe foul and a lay-in. Foul goes against Chris Bodeman. That's his first. The team's fourth. It goes to the line to shoot two. Brad with six points. Can't get that one. A chance to watch the arc on this one. Looks good, and it is. Beatty has seven. Great house back into the ball game, and Beatty will sit down. Jack trying to keep the troops fresh in there. It's uh, going to be a war all night, no doubt. 
Davis again guarded by Greathouse. With a bit of a mismatch because you got Boner guarding Green. Perlow with the rebound, gets it to Boner. And Keyes gets the steal. And he'll take it himself and he misses it and Boner gets the rebound. Now the Gales on the run. He'll decide to back out and the Gales will set it up. Five twenty to play in the first half. Gales lead at 20-12. Great house open, takes the shot. It is no good and Keyes with the rebound. Keys fishes down inside, the shot off the glass is good, and the first bucket for Bodeman. So it's a six point lead for the Gales, 2014. Chad McKnight getting ready to come back in along with Brad Beatty. Well, Kyle Greathouse fouled on the outside by Davis. A little hand check. It's first foul for Davis. Lancaster is trying to win the rubber game of the three games. The girls won last night against Gahanna. The reserves tonight lost for only the second time this year, beaten 63 to 56, John Kaufman's troops were. So the varsity now trying to win the balance of the two out of three. The thing about the reserve game, the reserve for Lancaster was up most of the ball game and just a splendid effort turned in by uh, Trigahanna's reserves. I, he almost single-handedly brought them back to defeat the Gales. We'll get a foul on McKnight. That's his first as the lob into Summers for McKnight. As we said, his first, only the second team foul for the Gales with 4-14 to play in the first half. Summers, the big guy, gets it over to Keyes. Tackett will take the shot. It's way off the mark, and Boner with the rebound for the Gales. Since Davis is off the floor, he becomes the shortest man out there. Okay, Summers and McKnight, they're, they're going at it now. This is good. Here's a shot, no good, and McKnight does a good job of fishing it out. He knew he couldn't grab it, so he knocked it back to the outside, and the Gales pick it up. Oh, a little bit too low. Boner couldn't quite handle it. That's his shot, too. It was there if he could have handled it. Summers fronting McKnight, trying to stay in front of him to deny him the ball. Great house looked like he wanted to drive. Then they call a travel. And we're going to get a couple of substitutions. Josh Labor will check back in. And uh, Tristan Weaver checks back in. And Zandy Boner will sit down. Twenty to fourteen. Three oh five to play in the first half. Trying to feed it into Summers. He gets it. And then is fouled. And who are they calling it on? Matt Alvis wants the call, but it's going to go against Chad McKnight, his second now. And quickly, Stuart Perlow up off the bench. Summers at the line. The first shot is up, and it's good. That's his first point. So McKnight sits down. Stuart Perlow now has got the daunting task. The second shot no good and Perlow on the rebound. 20 to 15. Foul called against Green. So, I'll tell you, 
just a few minutes ago, I was going to say how quickly the ball game was moving. And I thought, no, that's going to jinx it. We're going to get a lot of whistles. Well, all of a sudden, we've got a lot of whistles. Careful what you wish for. Favor. Great look. Nice dish down underneath to Alvis, and he gets his first bucket. Nice look. Matt just laid it in. 22-15 Gales. Beatty with the rejection on the inside pass. The ball on the floor. Still on the floor. Still on the floor. And now we're going to get a foul called on Stuart Perlow. Uh, impression that the people don't like the call. That was a tough one there. Bodies diving everywhere for the ball. And he did come over the top. And I think that's what the official got him for. But, but a tough one. Everybody's really trying to just get a handle on the, on the old pumpkin. Handle with the basketball. They feed it into Summers. He goes back door with it. The shot is up and it's great. He's got five now. He had a three pointer in the first. 22 17. Gales lead. Coach Greathouse yelling to move, get out. I think the Gales were clogging up the middle a little too much. Alvis takes the eight-footer. In and out, no good. The rebound by Summers. He's Only his on second run. rebound tonight. Well, for a big man, he just doesn't, he doesn't seem to get up. He's not right? active. We got a foul against Might Kyle. Might be Greathouse. Yep. I think the I Gales think. have gotten the word. They pound the boards. No, no. That's uh, going to go again. That goes against Green going over the over back. Over Great end. House. Right. And it's I a think one all one. the Gales are hitting the boards tonight. It, Boner's got a couple rebounds. All the guards are really crashing. So Kyle at the line. He's yet to score. And I just jinxed him. Sorry, Kyle. Perlow with the rebound. Puts up the shot no good and the rebound on the backside. Pulled down by number uh, 23, Brent Wakeley. So with 50 seconds left to play in the first half, 22-17, Gales by five, but Gehanna has the basketball. Keys with 36 seconds. Just running a little time off here. Oh, my. He threw it away. Threw the ball over there, and Wakely wasn't looking for it, and all of a sudden he looked up just in time to see it skitter off his hands and out of bounds. So the Gales get a real break. Gales, I'm sure, going to hold it now for the final shot with 20 seconds left to play in the first half. Down to 15. 10 seconds, Beatty. Beatty on the drive. Nice head fake. The shot is no good. Alvis can't get it. Wakely with the rebound, three seconds. Wakely, three-quarter court with the shot. It's no good, and that's how we end the first half of play. The score, the Golden Gales 22, the Gahanna Lincoln Lions 17. We'll be back with some halftime stats, but first we're going to take this time out. When you talk to the advertiser, you talk to the owners. When you do business, Tizer, you'll find an attentiveness to your needs that only an owner can give. The Advertiser, bringing buyers and sellers together with Fairfield County's largest selection of real estate. The Advertiser's classified ads are free for items $500 or less, and every classified ad is automatically placed on the web at no additional charge, connecting you to over 700 publications throughout the United States. The Lancaster Advertiser, proud of the company we keep. Do you remember the good old days when gas was 18 cents a gallon and car repair was honest and reliable? At Heston's Auto Service and Used Cars, they've been honest and reliable for over 56 years. Jim and Shirley Heston have made a commitment to maintain the same service you would receive back then. That's why generations of families have made Heston's their service and used car center. 
Heston's Auto Service and Used Cars, 603 Lincoln Avenue, Lancaster. Try something different and get out of the hamburger fast with a trip to Arthur Treacher's Fish and Chips. Dad with the hearty appetite can enjoy the original batter dip fish and chips, while Mom has the low-cal broiled fish dinner and the little ones order from the kids' menu. Remember, Arthur Treacher's food not only tastes good, but is good for you because they use only 100% cholesterol-free peanut oil. New owners, but the same great food at Arthur Treacher's, serving Lancaster for over 30 years. Hotfield County Commissioner Alan Reed. Did you know that paper and paper products are abundant in our homes, schools, and businesses? You can help reduce the waste and save valuable natural resources by simply taking advantage of the many recycling centers, drop-off programs, and curbside programs in our county. Encourage your school or office to begin recycling cardboard and high-grade paper. You can help keep Fairfield County a great place to live. Back in Lancaster High School, where at halftime, the 7th and 8th grade teams from Thomas Ewing and General Sherman are being announced to the crowds. Golden Gales lead this one 22 to 17. Gales led in scoring at the half by Josh Lavers, nine. Brad Beatty has seven. Four for McKnight, both on thundering dunks. Matt Alvis has two, that's 22 for the Gales. The handling by uh, Tristan Weaver off the bench with five points. Uh, four points for uh, Kyle Tackett, three for Keyes, and two apiece for Davis and Bodeman, and a point for Robert Summers at 17 for the Lions. Paul, I think you look at that first half, uh, really not a bad played first half, not a lot of turnovers, not a lot of big mental mistakes, but still all in all, I think uh, right now it, it's the five-point spread just kind of in, in general uh, as opposed to just inside or outside. They've, they've got a stronger team all around. Well, I think you'd indicated it. The, uh, the big kid, Summers, he's just not very active. I expected to see more out of him. I think Keys and Tackett are the guys that really make this show run. And I thought he'd be more of a force inside, but the Gales are penetrating. They're dishing off. They're driving. They're shooting. Uh, they're doing a lot inside the paint. And were dead lights out shooting for a while, and that's really what's been able to propel them to a five or six point lead throughout most of the game. Once again, the halftime score, the Golden Gales 22, Gahanna Lincoln 17. We'll be back with the second half tip off, but first we're gonna take this timeout. Only at Don's Furniture in Lancaster can you get great buys like this traditional living room group with sofa, love seat, three tables and two lamps, plus the pillows for just $7.99. Or this full-size futon with mattress for only $158. Or this multicolor heavy-duty bunk bed, perfect for a growing family at $188. All this and more at Don's Furniture and Mattress Showroom, 1118 East Main Street in Lancaster. Or visit them on the web at www.donsfurniture.com. If you want reliable high-speed internet services, call OhioHills.com. OhioHills.com is a regional company that when you call, you'll talk to a person, not a recording. Hi, I'm Laura Hobsetter, owner of OhioHills.com, and you have my personal guarantee that we'll do everything we can to earn and keep your business. Providing high-speed digital internet services with local access for Central and Southeast Ohio. Call OhioHills.com or visit our website at www.OhioHills.com. Now the cold weather has arrived, where can you go to maintain your summer shape? Hi, welcome to World Gym. Whether you're trying to keep that summer shape or starting on a new workout routine, World Gym is the place to come. Use free weights or the area's most extensive exercise equipment. For that great cardio workout, try the treadmills, steppers, recumbent bikes, or the hottest fitness machine on the market today, the Elliptical Edge. In the Plaza Shopping Center, World Gym, if you're serious. Call Tiki Lanes for dates and times of the next Thunder Alley.
back at Lancaster High School, Andy Rice, Paul Jassen, and the entire IVP sports crew. Actually, I, I faux pas. We don't have the entire sports crew as uh, Jason Roush up the road at Fisher Catholic is the number two ranked in the state now, Fisher Catholic, taking on uh, Liberty Union tonight. So he was up there working for his dad, Bob Roush, an assistant coach for the Fighting Irish. So Jeremy Fultz, our director of the past couple of weeks, is out on the floor. And he's uh, he's got the camera in hand. And the Gales start the second half with the basketball. Now, I think Lancaster knows they're going to be in for a heck of a second half because this this Gahanna team is a team that beat Pickerington. Beatty from three, and he's got ten points. Beat Upper Arlington at Upper Arlington and Sherville North by 15. This is a good team, but like you said, who's going to show up? Well, and and realistically, you got to look. Uh, if you're Coach Lewis, you know your team's five and five in the conference. And unless the wheel falls off for the Gales or, or Pickerington, you know, things aren't going to change. So you got nothing to lose. You might as well let it all hang out. And the Gales have to get the shots. And you see Summers take the three-pointer. It's no good. Ball batted around. It's on the floor, picked up by Matt Alvis. Gales out-rebounded a bigger Gahanna team 15-7 to in the first half. That was a big part of this story. Laver, Alvis, Great House, Beatty, and McKnight, the original starting five for the Gales. And the Gales being patient. Green, Keys, Tackett. Bomber and uh, Summer. original starting five in there for Ooh, McKnight went down. the Gale, or for uh, Gahanna Lincoln. Here's Beatty again from three. Great rebound from Alvis to keep it alive. 13 points and Rick Lewis 80 and there's a full timeout and coach Lewis not happy so we'll take a full timeout ourselves 28 17 Gales lead Ti ho portato nel locale della mia sorella Sì Ci si mangia bene Sì sì E dove si spende poco Sì. È vero Luciana? Sì. You don't have to travel overseas for real Italian cooking. Tiberio's Ristorante in downtown Lancaster. You can buy your insurance from an 800, but do you know that person? And will they be there when you need them? At Wentz Fletcher, a motorist insurance agency, you know who you are dealing with. You see them in the community, and when you call, you deal with a person, not a machine. Wentz Fletcher and Motorist Insurance, you've known us for nearly 30 years. Call us at 653-5535 with your insurance questions. We can help. Wentz Fletcher Insurance, 1601 East Main Street, Lancaster. Gahanna inbounds the basketball quickly. Keys runs down, goes up to the lane, and puts it up and is good. So Keys, who had only three points on a three-pointer in the first half, gets the first bucket of the second half for Gahanna. He's got five, and it's 28-19 Gales. Alvis just almost went right around, and oh. then he double dribbled. And he knew it as soon as he did it, too. Lancaster's going to have just the way they started the first half with a 6-0 run. And now Gahanna's trying to settle in here and get back in this thing. And we're going to get a foul called, I think, against Matt Alvis. His first. As uh, Bomber trying to get position to the inside. There you see Coach Greathouse. Keys to green, back to Keys. Yeah, they're trying to get that skip pass in there to find, I think, Keys open. Keys goes back door to tack it, and he gets fouled as he goes up for the layup. Doesn't get the shot to fall. And Alvis picks up his second in a row. So Tackett goes to the line to shoot two. The first one's good. 
So since the timeout, they've outscored Lancaster three to nothing. So the timeout has worked to their advantage. Tackett Cooley puts them both down. He's got six. This is team's leading scorer as the Gales bring the ball up, leading by seven, 28-21. Laver, as Alvis gets the ball slapped away and then is called for a double dribble. And Jack. I don't think that ball was intended for Alvis to begin with. He was just having to be cutting through the lane. I think it was a give and go. A screen was set, supposed to be Burt McKnight. And uh, Alvis came through there, and I think the ball kind of surprised him. Whether he double dribbled or not, I couldn't tell. But uh, uh, tough break for the Gales to turn it over. They lob it into Summers. Summers tries to backpedal. First shot inside that he's made. Summers has three points, and just like that now, Gahanna spot back to within five, 28-23. And I would think that would be part of Lewis's strategy right there to try to get the big guy off the snide and uh, have him work on McKnight with a couple fouls. Beatty. Oh, it. man. <laughs> and he gets it to go. Oh. Beatty's been a one-man wrecking crew here in the third quarter. He's got eight points. Quarter, 15 overall, and he'll be shooting for the old-time three-point play. Ray Lewis would have been proud of that <laughs> shiver right there. He did that little forearm shutter and pushed that guy back and then pulled it back out. Good shot of Brad as his shot falls. Nine in the quarter for Beatty. 31-23, Gales lead it by eight. Tackett crosses the timeline. I think that's where the Gales want him to get the ball out on top like that. They don't want him to get it down low where he's at his strongest. Wakely out to Summers. Yeah, Beatty is all over green, too, trying to keep him launching. Well, Coach Greathouse wanted to walk. Half the fans behind, Jack wanted to walk, but nothing happens as we get a baseline shot. Doesn't go, but a foul inside. And that goes against Kyle Greathouse, his second. Gales have to be careful. These are the things that could mount up to, to really be a problem in the fourth quarter. Tackett's first shot is good. Three throws have been a big part of this quarter for them. Tackett with three here in the first quarter as Coach Greathouse paces and the second one is good. Laver. I haven't heard from him yet, and now we get It goes against Buck Bomber. That's his third, and all of them guarding McKnight. Yeah, not that Buck Bomber isn't a big kid and deserves to be out there, but you look him out there, wander around, he looks like he should be the trainer. I mean, he, <laughs> he just doesn't look like a basketball player. Well, a five-second call, and the Gales turn it over again. That's the eighth turnover for the Gales. Gahanna inbounds it right in front of our camera. Gahanna has just three turnovers in the game. And still they trail. The ball off of the foot. And the ball's on the floor now. Let's see, they're going to call a jump, I think. And it's going to go to Gahanna. One of the Gahanna players ran over there and was trying to call timeout. <laughs> Coach they Lewis. see they watch too much ESPN yeah. to see that. As soon as they get the ball, timeout. Coach Lewis is yelling, hey, don't don't call a timeout on something like that. We might need it later. Tackett tries to feed it in. Alvis knocks it away, picked up by Greathouse. Four on one. Down to Alvis. Jumps up as hammered. Can't get it to go. Great no-look pass by Kyle Greathouse leading that break. Goes against Tackett. That's his first foul. Matt Alvis goes to the line. 
first shot is good. Alvis's second shot off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound pulled down by Laver. The ball tipped around, and it's saved by McKnight. Alvis from the elbow. Alvis with a nice move, and then it's rejected by Keyes. Picked back up by McKnight, and he puts it in. Great second and third effort by the Gales to keep that ball alive and come away with two. McKnight with six points. Jack applauds that. 2.40 to play in the third quarter. Gales lead at 34-25. Keys in trouble is fouled, and if it's against Alvis, it is. That's his third. Stuart Perlow up off the bench. He'll be coming in after this first shot by Keys. Keys only has five points. He's really almost been a non-factor. It's early in the game. First shot is good. Get a chance to see the crowd here in the background. They're always here to support the Golden Gales. Full house again tonight, even though we've got snowy conditions. Keys gets the second one to roll in. Hey, free throws have kept them in the in this in the third quarter. Laver goes baseline. Um, yep, it's good. I didn't think it was going to go there at first, but he gets his 11th point. Great penetration by Josh. Davis back into the ball game for Gahanna has the basketball. Keys. He really wants it. Trying to make something happen, and Brad Beatty's going to get called for the foul his first. And he can't stand it. He wants the ball so bad. He wants to launch threes. But Beatty's just all over it. Algernon Marbley comes into the ball game, number 30. Of course, Algernon likes Paul Simon. The song, You Can Just Call Me Al. And we will. Marbley, baseline, and well, he ran into Chad McKnight, and then Chad McKnight gets called for the foul. Well, that's a tough call. That's a tough call. You can see that crowd there not pleased about that. It looked like McKnight was standing with his, waiting on him to come to him, didn't even jump. Chad gets to, gets to personal. First shot by Marbley is good. Matt Alvis in to give him a blow now. He's going to have to sit. Well, Jack tells him you can't do any more than that. So it's Alvis, Perlo, Laver, Beatty, and Great House. See how they do blocking out here on this free throw. That's short. Ball's on the floor, and Laver wrestles it away from Keys. He did wrestle it away, too. Coach Greathouse wants them to spread it out, and they do. Kyle is fouled by Marbley, and now it's getting ugly. I think the Gales, uh, Jack was going to try to spread it out, get a little penetration, maybe a dish, something right there. We'll see if that's how they play this. Here's the shot. It's off the glass. No good. Rebound by Summers. 36. Only his third rebound of the night. 36-28. Gales lead by eight. Keys right around, and he puts it up, and it's good. Beatty and Alvis both went down on that one. Beatty wanted a call. Didn't happen, and it turns out to be an easy bucket. And Lancaster only up by six. Laver with the spin move, runs into Summers and then throws the ball back and is saved by Beatty. And then Keyes gets called for the reach in. Okay. 
become a very, very order. A lot of whistles. Matter of fact, there's been 11 fouls called in this quarter. Inbounded, great house. Thirty-nine seconds. Scales maybe running for the last play. Andy Boner in the ball game for the purpose of handling the basketball. Twenty-two seconds. Marbley with the foul. His second. Both teams with 16 fouls now, so from here on out, we're going to be shooting foul shots. Perlo in the ballgame now for Andy Boner with 17.8 seconds. I think we'll be hitting the boards here when the shot goes up. Laver. He's got the 10 ball. He'll be making the play. Laver with the move, stopping the pop. It's in and out, no good. Alvis tried to grab it, and the ball knocked away. And the Gales keep it with 3.1 seconds. To get it in the great house. Beatty takes the three, it's off the front of the rim, no good, and that's how the third quarter ends. The score, the Golden Gales 36 to Hannah Lincoln 30. We'll be back right after this. Try something different and get out of the hamburger fast food rut with a trip to Arthur Treacher's Fish and Chips. Dad with the hearty appetite can enjoy the original batter dipped fish and chips, while mom has the low-cal broiled fish dinner and the little ones order from the kids' menu. Remember, Arthur Treacher's food not only tastes good, but is good for you because they use only 100% cholesterol-free peanut oil. New owners, but the same great food at Arthur Treacher's, serving Lancaster for over 30 years. Do you remember the good old days when gas was 18 cents a gallon and car repair was honest and reliable? At Heston's Auto Service and Used Cars, they've been honest and reliable for over 56 years. Jim and Shirley Heston have made a commitment to maintain the same service you would receive back then. That's why generations of families have made Heston's their service and used car center. Heston's Auto Service and Used Cars, 603 Lincoln Avenue, Lancaster. Back at Lancaster High School, Andy Rice, Paul Jasson, the IVP sports crew as the Golden Gales lead 36 to 30. Reminding everyone later on at the end of this ball game, we'll be picking the Tiki Bowling Lanes player of the ball game. Sponsored, of course, by Tiki Lanes. That ball tipped away and Paul Jackson with the save over here at the bench. Paul saving Doan. Doan was going to dive out there and get that. He had it. Right now, there's a couple of Gales that are vying for that Tiki Bowling Lanes player of the ball game. They lob it down to McKnight, and a nice pass and a nice shot. It's good. Boy, Lewis looks at his coaches like, man, will, it, will Summers do something out there? Gales McKnight is schooling him. Gales back up by 8, 38, 30. He's just a laid back kind of player. He's just not aggressive. Bomber with the shot up, and it's good. That's his first bucket. Alvis went to go for the ball there, didn't get it, and gave up kind of the bunny. Alvis doing a good job on the Buckster. Great house gets across the timeline. And then he walks with the basketball. That's the ninth turnover for the Gales. You see Gahanna cheerleaders and the Gahanna side of the Gymnasium is, once again, they brought a lot of people with them as well. Had a nice halftime ceremony here, too. They introduced the 7th and 8th grade teams from Sherman and Ewing, so it was nice for those young 
young men to get the exposure out here on the, on the big floor where they hope to play someday. Summers gets the lob down in, and Summers has got five points. They're hanging around four points. It's still anybody's game. And a 20-second timeout called by Lancaster as Gahanna's come back to within four, 38-34. I want to remind you of our games coming up here on Channel 22. Next week we'll be at Pickerington where the Golden Gales will take on the Tigers of Pickerington. That should be a good one. That'll be a real good, good one. rematch. And of course you can see that game next weekend on Saturday and Sunday, 12:30 and 8. In the final two games of the regular season, we'll be following the Fighting Irish. There you see our uh, position down here at the end of the bench. Oh. See the TV there? There's Doan Livingstone right, right over there. But uh, we'll be having Fisher against New Albany and then against Heath for the last two uh, ball games of the regular season. And of course, once the playoffs roll around, we'll check and see the better matchups between the Gales and, and the Fighting Irish. Both teams, obviously, I'm sure, will be seated pretty high in their respective divisions, so. The girls actually draw Sunday. They play their last, they play Saturday and then the drawing for the girls tournament Sunday, so it's coming quickly. McKnight. Very active, great job of just scooting right by Summers. 10 points for McKnight. He's played exactly the kind of game the Gales needed to have out of him to, uh, to post a little lead. Tack it out front, it's a six point lead for the Gales. Beatty is all over Keyes, too. That's a great matchup. Keyes is really frustrated. He can't get, is really denying him. And they've got Alvis on the big guy at this end. Looking over at Coach Lewis. Yeah, he had story time over there. Keyes takes the shot. It's no good. Ball batted around. It's again no good. Falling down, no good. Summers gets the rebound. It's no good. The ball knocked out of bounds, and it goes to the Gales. Well, they got four shots at it. Couldn't get it. Good rebounding, but just couldn't get a couldn't get one. They could have used that one. Under 5:15 to play in the ball game. Gales by six. Gales content to run off a little clock when they get the ball now. Now both Summers and McKnight talking to the official. I think Summers got it. Summers picks up his first foul. And that's going to send McKnight to the line. Chad's first shot is up and it's good. Buck Bomber out, Weaver back in for the Lions. Lancaster trying to go seven and one in the league with the victory here today. Second shot by McKnight is also good. 42-34, Gales back up by eight. Lancaster has done a good job on Keyes and Tackett, really keeping them under control and not letting them play out of their minds. Weaver goes baseline, gets it to Summers. His shot is good. I mean, that's there all day long. He wants to go to it. Six and a half for Summers, seven total. They can get him the ball. He can sure put it up. Elvis Another lob. Down to McKnight. There it is. No, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. I'm resisting temptation. Here's a three-point attempt by Tackett. It bounces around and it goes in. Wow. That is a friendly soft rim. And we got a 20-second timeout called by Gehenna. So again, we'll keep it right here with 4:01 left to play in the ball game. 44-39 is the score. That was Gales huge for them to, sure was. to get a three to keep it almost within single digits. They really needed that one. Golden Gales 
I'm sure Coach Greenhouse right now. He, Jack, very conservative to the point of he likes to be sure that the ball's passed around to get the open pass, look for an open shot when, you're, when you've got the lead late, but I don't think you'll see him stall the ball or, or hold it. I think the Gales have been better tonight when they've just gone on the offensive and, and attack. Well, sometimes a team like Lancaster, when you start doing that, sometimes it takes you out of your rhythm a little bit. You're used to playing a certain way, and now coach is asking you to slow it down a little bit, but they've done a good job adjusting. Alvis, Laver, McKnight, Beatty, and Greathouse. Yep, original starting five as you see Kyle Greathouse bring the ball up the floor. Alvis to Laver, over to Beatty. Beatty tries to drive as fouled as he puts up the shot. That goes against Tackett, his second. So that will send Beatty to the line. He'll be shooting one and one. It was before the shot. First shot is up and it's good. It's going to be interesting to see where Lancaster does fall in the tournaments because they're used to playing in that for years played in the Southeast District and now they're in the big boys territory in the Central District and see where this all shakes down. Second weeks. shot is good by Beatty. We uh, lost the top camera. Someone pulled the plug up top. So Jim Spires scrambles to go plug it back in. So you're going to have to watch it from the deep camera here for a second as we get a pass down inside the Summers and a shot is good. There we go. Now we're back. Jimmy is a master technician. Well, I saw the screen go black. I turn around and look, and Jimmy Spires is running over there. A couple kids sitting over there by where the cord's plugged in. And I don't, I don't think he backhanded them, but he... <laughs> Gales lead it by 5, 46, 41. McKnight goes right around Summers, and how about that move? Oh, man. Lewis is beside himself now. And Keys either took an elbow to the face or to the... Yeah, he caught one across the nose. I didn't see where I was watching McKnight. Probably caught an arm flying for a rebound. So he'll... Uh, he'll sit down. Or at least I assume he's going to sit down. There's nobody off the bench yet. Now Green will check back in. So the Gales with a seven point lead and 258 to play. Now it's a matter of uh, holding onto your composure here for the final three minutes and not losing your cool if you're the Gales. Playing good airtight defense like you've done all game. Here's the shot, no good. Backside rebound by Kyle Greathouse. Alvis to Laver. Back out to Greathouse. Out top, Beatty. Beatty drives, dishes off. There's another one. McKnight has exploded here in the fourth quarter. He's Great job again for the Gales. They're driving, they, and then when everybody commits to them, they dish it off, and McKnight takes full advantage of it. McKnight's got 12 and a quarter. And a turnaround by Summers, and he's got eight this quarter. And then a full timeout is taken by Kahana. We'll take one ourselves. 50 to 43, Gales lead by seven. Only at Don's Furniture in Lancaster can you get great buys like this traditional living room group with sofa, love seat, three tables, and two lamps, plus the pillows for just $7.99. Or this full-size futon with mattress for only $158. Or this multicolor heavy-duty bunk bed, perfect for a growing family at $188. All this and more at Don's Furniture and Mattress Showroom, 1118 East Main Street in Lancaster. Or visit them on the web at www.donsfurniture.com. 
I'm Fairfield County Commissioner Judy Shoup, here with students from Liberty Union Middle School, reminding you to always dispose of your waste tires in a legal and environmentally safe method. Tires which are stockpiled hold stagnant waters that provide an ideal habitat for mosquitoes that could spread disease. That's why my friends and I took a summer and helped to rid the county of this illegal tire dump. These kids have made the right choice, won't you? With your help, we can stop illegal dumping in Fairfield County and keep our county beautiful. Jordan to Gales inbound the basketball, and then the ball's tipped on as they try to feed it down inside. Gahanna steals it. Ten turnovers now for Lancaster. Under, under a minute and a half to play, 50-43, Gales by seven. They're going to need some threes here. I think they're going to need more than twos. Summers wants it, turns it around, his shot no good. Ball tipped away by Alvis, and it's saved by Alvis. Huge rebound by Matt. Kyle Greathouse, wow, looked like he stepped on the out, the end line, but they don't. Going to get wild out here now. Tackett tries to steal it from Beatty, does so, and then is called for the foul. He had tipped it away and then trying to, when it was being pummeled around out there, caught an arm. Lucky he had Jack there to make that call for the official. It was, it was <laughs> helpful to have him there with that. That's the third foul on Tackett. The ninth team foul, so it's still a one-on-one, -on -one, but the next one will be a two-shot foul. Less than a minute to go. Beatty's first shot is up, and it's good. Beatty's second shot also is good. And Lancaster takes a 20-second timeout with 57 seconds left to play, so we'll keep it right here, 52-43. Reminding you again, next Friday night, the IVP sports crew will be up at Pickerington as the Gales take on the Tigers. We'll have that game for you next Saturday and Sunday, 12.30 and 8 o'clock. That right game's here. turned into uh, quite the rivalry. Yes, it has. As... Uh, you know, we get all types of celebrities here at the ball game. And that's not one of them. And that's not one of them. Ladies and gentlemen, John Hawk. John Hawk is leaving the building. Of the People's Bank. I think that's a Banana Republic Bank. I'm not sure. Now, now. You never know when we might want to get him as a sponsor on something. That's exactly right. Gahanna will have the basketball, but they're trailing now by nine points, 52-43 with 57 seconds. Tack it. Guarded by Laver. Summers. Outside is, they're wasting a lot of time if they want to try and get the ball in a hoop. And we get a foul as Keys drove the lane. And that goes against Kyle Greathouse. And that's his third. I thought they'd be launching threes the way they started out. I thought, here's the opportunity when you really need them. Get a three call T.O. It's just a one-on-one -on -one shot. It was on the floor, they say. Key's first shot is no good. The ball batted around, and it's picked up by McKnight. Gets it to Beatty. Beatty. And then his foul. Tackett picks up that foul. That's his fourth. So Brad Beatty goes to the line. I would say right now that it's between him and Chad McKnight for our Tiki Bowling Lanes player of the ball game. Both played real fine ball game. It was Beatty's third quarter that got the Gales up early in the second half, and Beatty has now made five of six free throws in a row, which probably just jinxed him, so I'll apologize in advance just in case. So the Gales by nine with 29 seconds left. Tackett will take the off-balance three, no good. Ball batted around Summers. He'll put up the shot, it's good. Summers has 10 in this quarter. 
He's been their bright spot in this half as we get a foul by Weaver, his first, and Laver will go to the line. Josh has 11 in the ball game. Only a couple two. smiles breaking out on the Gales' faces about now. Only two here in the second half for Josh Laver. He, he was the one that propelled them early. Josh's first shot no good. We're going to have some wholesale substitutions for the Gales. As Beatty Greathouse, McKnight, and Alvis all check out. Notestone, Siegel. Jared McCabe. McCabe and uh, Dustin yeah. Poling are in the ball game. Laver will stay in. He's at the line shooting. Second shot, however, does go in. 12 points for Josh. Keys takes the three-pointer. It's no good. The follow-up is batted around. Summer saves it. Ball's on the floor, and that's the end of the ball game. The final score, the Golden Gales 55, and the Hannah Lincoln Lions 45. We'll be back and take a look at the Tiki Bowling Lanes player of the ball game, and we'll wrap it up. But first, we're going to take this timeout. If you want reliable high-speed internet services, call OhioHills.com. OhioHills.com is a regional company that is big on customer service. So when you call, you'll talk to a person, not a recording. Hi, I'm Laura Hopstetter, owner of OhioHills.com. And you have my personal guarantee that we'll do everything we can to earn and keep your business. Providing high-speed digital internet services with local access for Central and Southeast Ohio. Call OhioHills.com or visit our website at www.OhioHills.com. Ti ho portato nel locale della mia sorella. Sì. Ci si mangia bene. Sì, sì. E dove si spende poco? Sì. È vero Luciana? Sì. You don't have to travel overseas for real Italian cooking. Tiberio's Ristorante in downtown Lancaster. You can buy your insurance from an 800 number, but do you know that person? And will they be there when you need them? At Wentz Fletcher, a motorist insurance agency, you know who you are dealing with. You see them in the community, and when you call, you deal with a person, not a machine. Wentz Fletcher and Motorist Insurance, you've known us for nearly 30 years. Call us at 653-5535 with your insurance questions. We can help. Wentz Fletcher Insurance, 1601 East Main Street, Lancaster. Tiki Lanes for dates and times of the next Thunder Alley. Back at Lancaster High School with the Gales victorious over Gahanna tonight, 55 to 45. And we're going to name our player of the ball game brought to you by Tiki Lanes. Visit Tiki Lanes on the web at tikilanes.com. Of course, you can find out all the things that they've got going on there, or you can just call Tiki Lanes at 654 4513. Ask about scheduling your child's birthday party at Tiki Lanes. Greg, Wendy, and everybody out there at Tiki Lanes would be more than happy to help you. We've got two possible candidates, Paul, but I can tell you right now, uh, Brad Beatty had a fantastic ball game, was the leading scorer with 22 points, but it's kind of hard to dunk a bowling ball, which is what they have at Tiki Lanes. And since Chad McKnight had four dunks tonight, 18 points overall, and basically kept uh, their big man quiet until the fourth quarter, we'll give our Tiki Bowling Lanes player of the game to Chad McKnight. Just a great game, and he got the crowd fired up with those dunks. He was very dominating tonight. Again, as we said, Brad Beatty had 22 to lead all scores. 12 points for Josh Laver, three for Matt Alvis. And as I was mentioning, Paul, that's the first time that I can really remember the Gales scoring being so, I guess, 
not, it's usually pretty well compact. All, all five starters are usually within that 8 to uh, 12, 13 point range. Uh, this is the first time I can remember in a long time that there's been two players really dominant offensively for the Gales. It was a, a good team effort tonight. Everybody didn't score, but, uh, but, but everybody had to roll offensively and defensively, and they did it. Brett Summers, uh, the Robert Summers, was the leading scorer for Anna. 13 points for him, and uh, he had 10 of those in the fourth quarter. 11 for Tackett, 9 for Robbie Keyes. That's uh, their big man at the Gales kept off the scoreboard. As you said, Paul, that was uh, due to the defensive effort turned in by all the Gales that guarded him tonight. And uh, on top of everything else, Chad had seven rebounds. I think he did lead everybody and all uh, all rebounders in that category. But it was a just a great team effort, and that's what you had to have to beat Gann, and no one guy was going to beat him tonight. All right, again, congratulations to Chad McKnight, our Tiki Bowling Lanes player of the ball game. Once again, next week we'll be at Pickerington. You can see that game right here on Channel 22 at 12.30 Nate, Saturday and Sunday next week. For the entire IVP sports crew, and again, Final score, Lancaster 55, Gahanna 45. I'm Andy Rice. Thanks for watching, everyone. Interphase Video Productions is proud to present the High School Basketball Game of the Week. Brought to you by... Tiberio's Ristorante. Community Action and Litter Prevention. Wentz Fletcher Insurance. OhioHills.com. Heston's Auto Service and Used Cars. Don's Furniture. Arthur Treacher's Fish and Chips. And Tiki Bowling Lanes.